hi everyone welcome back to our channel and in this video we're going to talk about how you can increase sales for your auto spare parts store online before we actually jump into the strategies and details which will help you to enhance or better your sales let's talk about the market trend about auto spare parts the global automotive aftermarket industry size was valued at usd 427.51 billion in 2022 the market is expected to register a compound annual growth rate of 4% from 2023 to 2030, according to the Grand View Research Incorporation. The three most important digital marketing processes which will help you to generate more sales online for your auto spare parts are SEO, PPC, and social media marketing. SEO is a process or a digital marketing strategy where we try to rank your website at top of search engine, especially Google. The idea is that if any user types in a particular key phrase which is related to your products or services, your website should be showing at the top of Google. In this particular case, we need to find out the most relevant key phrases related to your products and services then optimize the product pages or descriptions and on page SEO based on those keywords and then try to convince and get Google's authority through good quality backlinks. Once we attain top rankings it would ensure better and more organic traffic to the website which should result in more sales for your business. The second process or the digital marketing strategy which we are going to discuss is called as PPC or pay per click. Again, the idea is to run paid advertisements on Google's platform and try to get relevant traffic to the specific landing pages. In this particular case, we need to optimize the landing pages for conversions as such. We need to have call to actions at specific locations so that once the user lands up on the page, he or she should be able to take a decision soon. Setting up of remarketing campaigns is an important aspect of PPC. The idea is to get clients which have come to the website but haven't made a purchase and left the website. We have shared a detailed case study wherein we helped one of our clients to generate sales in tunes of almost $87,000 for his auto spare parts store using best PPC practices. The link for the case study also has been shared in the description box. So as an introduction, the client under discussion is an automotive product retailer specializing in the sale of various auto parts designed specifically for classic American cars and trucks. The client initially faced challenges in achieving favorable results as the ROAS was poor. This is how the client approached us after coming across one of our videos on YouTube. So now how we have started we began with by conducting an initial audit to assess what was effective and what was not. Following that, we performed a comprehensive audit resulting in a detailed report highlighting opportunities for improvement. So now what are all the challenges that we have faced? One of the most biggest challenge was the poor ROI low sales and poor per branding. So now in terms of the campaign targeting, the first one is a PMAX campaign. Our primary focus was on the shopping ads, recognizing their potential to drive significant sales. Consequently, we established a specialized PMAX campaign designed to concentrate predominantly on the shopping network. Ad relevancy and targeting. We developed highly relevant ad copy and visuals that emphasized the cost effectiveness of the client's product in comparison to their competitors. We then utilized keyword research and audience targeting to reach the desired audience interested in the auto parts. Third thing is the head extensions and site links. We utilized head extensions such as site links and callout extension to provide additional information and enhance ad visibility. We incorporated relevant site links to direct users to specify 
to specific landing page sections such as product features, customer reviews and purchasing options. The last one is the retargeting and the head to cart abandonment. We have implemented the, re the retargeting campaigns to those visitors who have visited the website but they have left the website from the add to cart page and we gave them like an extra 5% off using a certain coupon code. That strategy worked really very well for us. We have been able to increase our sales by almost 25% by using that strategy alone. The third process or the third digital marketing strategy which we're going to talk about is social media marketing. In this particular case, you need to identify the audience. You need to identify the platform which would work the best for you and then try to create best possible content which the users would like and engage with. If you actually combine the power of all these three processes, then you can boost your sales online for your auto spare parts. In the case you are trying or looking forward to invest into this business and are looking forward to set up an e-commerce store, feel free to get in touch with us and we surely will be able to help. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.